What is up guys? Welcome back. So this is the promised guild battle video that I w was talking about. Um, basically, I just wanted to have an entire week where we do and do our guild battles as a guild and just be really, really serious and uh, just try as hard as we can and see what we can accomplish. Um, so it's been a whole entire week. It's our first ever week of doing guild battles and um, you know, we learn quite a lot as a guild. There's a lot of people in my guild that are actually a lot more knowledgeable. Um, although I am the highest level, like I did play the most, um, pay the most and shit. But there, there's a lot of people in my guild who are really, really knowledgeable in the game uh, about our strategies and stuff. I'm not actually the one coordinating our guild battle strategies. Um, there's, there's a lot of other people in the guild who are a lot more experienced than me um, that, that actually like, care a lot more about getting those resources and they're the ones actually coordinating and um, planning the strategies. I, I kind of just play along. Like, I, I think of myself kind of like not as not really as the leader of the guild, but more of like the the ace, you know, like the the one that um, you know if if uh, if we need someone to hit them really really hard, then obviously they they send me out first. Um, so I did learn a, quite a lot of few things about guild battles. So first things first, if you're still not in a guild, definitely join one. There's a lot of benefits to joining the guild. You can get sweeps from you know do, doing donations. Um, you can also get free daggers from from liking people so you can get 60 free daggers every single day from going to the like place and then just liking people right now we're not currently recruiting like i, I bet somebody's probably going to ask um but there's there's probably um like three people or so i not yeah like i think there's three or four people in queue waiting to to actually join the guild so there's um there's there's kind of a lineup on the on the discord server I did give priority to people who actually come and ask me on Discord. I, I have said like every single time I advertise to uh, for us to, to join the guild, but we, we do um, increase in slots. Every single time your guild levels, you get one more slot, so um, it's probably going to take us about like one or two weeks or so to level, so maybe every two weeks or so we can invite someone, someone new um, into the guild. But even just temporarily, if you still don't have a guild, definitely join one right now for the likes and for, for liking and getting free daggers and also donating and getting free sweeps. Um, actually, they're not sweeps, but you, you kind of buy them, but you kind of still need them for like the double double transmute hours. Sweeps are definitely really, really useful. I did make a video um, talking a little bit about that as well. So we are going to, um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about guild battle strategy. So, uh, the mechanics actually, not the strategy. I, I don't know that much about the strategy, but I'm actually going to just talk about the mechanics, how everything works, and you guys can, um, it's, it's really, really complicated. It's, it's like a board game, almost. So, first of all, when you click the guild battle button, um, that is in your, your battle, I think. It's really cool that my game didn't actually crash. Like, you basically click here, it shows the number of tickets that you have left. Like, over here, I have zero tickets because I didn't... I, I basically used them all up, so... Um, we did finish the guild battle today. This is actually the, the tallying time. Like, they're, they're tally it's the end of the, the, the session. Um, one session is every single week. And it's the end of the session right now. It is currently... It's Sunday here, but in Asia, it should be, in, it should be Monday. Um, so they're tallying the scores and basically they're going to be handing out a little bit of the rewards. Um, I don't know, I don't know too much about the rewards. I don't, I actually don't know what they actually give to the, to the top guilds. Um, but first of all, there's, there's five, there's actually, I think nine maps, um, av available to, actually, no, 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 no. I, I'm not sure if that nine, map nine is available because, um, Obviously, like the the map nine on the actual map is not available now, so I'm not sure if it's available for guild wars. But when you first start out, uh, when you're a level three guild, you only have access to these three maps. So you have map access to map one, two, and three. And once your guild hits level four, you get access to map four and five. Um, I'm assuming that once you hit level five, then you're going to have access to maybe map six and seven, and then maybe when you get to level six. Um, you'll have access to map eight, 8 and 9 or something like that if if things are if I'm seeing a pattern here so um, our, our guild is at the beginning of the week you, you as a guild need to decide which map you're gonna focus on because um, most of your battles are gonna be focused around that map 
and you won't be able to do any guild battles if you don't have any fortresses. So you basically, at the beginning of the week, you, um, not, not just you, like, you can't just have the guild leaders say, oh, we're gonna do this here, and then make everyone attack here. You need to coordinate with your teammates and say, all right, um, if you have, like, a, a chat group or something like that, um, if you don't have like a special line group or like for me I use a discord group um, another really good way to maybe communicate with your with your team members is to actually use the in-game system the in-game chat system is horrendous but they c thankfully do have a pretty good community system over here where you can leave a guild forum I basically only left to like welcome to the guild and and um, telling my guildies to come join me on discord so it's much easier for me to chat uh, but maybe you can, as a guild leader, you can make some posts and say, this week we are going to be um, focusing on map 1, map 2, map whatever. So we're going to go in and um, and take a look at um, at the map that we focus on. So we we as a guild focused on map 1. Um, I, we ended the week at as rank 1 on map 1. Over here it will show you your rank, it will show you the amount of land that you have, and the amount of fortresses that you have. You're actually supposed to only have three at most, but it is bugged currently. Um, but and but one of our fortresses during the week is not actually available, so it's basically like a visual error. It it uh it showed us that we had four fortresses, but in reality we only had three. Um, and they like a third fortress on the map, like nobody could attack, nobody could do anything with it. It was just really really weird, really really buggy. Um, they definitely do need to fix that in the future, but. It, it's kind of still the same thing. It's just like we we have we don't have access to one of our fortresses, which is actually a disadvantage for us. It's really really dumb. Um, so we we did we did some we did get some fortresses, and we also have um, a lot of lands. So this might be very very intimidating the first time you see this. Um, I'm, I'm actually gonna re go in again because I can't zoom out because I'm playing on a playing on an emulator. I cannot pinch my screen to zoom out. You know, so I basically I need to go back and then click the map to come back in. So at first glance, this is very very intimidating. You have no, you, probably when I saw this for the first time, I had no idea what was going on, what was what. The rules of guild battles or the mechanics of guild battles is very very simple. If, for example, um, you you as a as a guild um, conquer all these slots, seven slots to form a hexagon, then you will you will spawn a fortress. So, if you look over here, you'll see that no two fortresses are right beside each other. They're basically spaced out. So, for example, this fortress over here, um, I think it belongs to someone else. It belongs to Korea, and uh, <laughs> their guild is literally just called Korea. So, in order for them to have spawned this fortress, they basically need to take um, take control of this the slot over over here. Um, you know, and then and then this slot, this slot, this slot, basically take control of all these slots over here. So once they take control of all these slots around, and also I think um, the slot in the middle as well, then it spawns a fortress, and you you basically your guild gains control of a fortress. Um, and when you when you actually get control of the fortress, um, there's a number of things you can do. There's a number of benefits. The number one benefit is you will be able to get resources. Um, the, the fortress will be able to spawn resources over time. So if you look at theirs, they have um, they didn't they only had this conquered for four hours. So only it only spawned one leather. But basically, the longer you have a fortress, the more materials that it will spawn. This this one is our fortress, I think, um, and we have it for 52 hours, and we have 25 skulls. All right. That's, it's, it, I know it's pretty shitty, but um, there are some guilds that have like better resources, as you can see. Um, the, this guild over here, for one of their their bases, they have steel and they have spirit of moonlight. So all these are resources that you can only get from fortresses, and they are basically split evenly between the guild. Um, if you manage to hold on to your fortress at the end of the the, the guild battles, um, so. That's the the main way to do the guild battles. If you don't know about the guild battle system, the actual battle system, like I'm not going going to go into any battles in here because I, I obviously can't because it's the end of the session. But I'm just talking about the the, the map, the board game, you know, the portion of of Guild Wars. Um, if you haven't seen what the actual battles are like, then you can go look at some of my videos that I, I actually did 
some fortress battle videos and some guild battle videos that I did before. But it's very very simple, it's a 10 on 10 fight and you basically put in 5 units and you have 5 extra units that can tag in whenever one of your units dies. So if no, um, one of your tank dies then the 6th the unit on your list will tag in and take the slot of the tank and then uh, the fight will go on until all units are, are dead. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. You just basically you go in um, and you fight and if you defeat wh whichever defense that they put over here, you can put a maximum of 10 monsters on defense. So you can set a defense party um, and uh, with a maximum of 10 units and you can place them to defend a piece of land. So if you manage to defeat them and take their land, then this land becomes yours. And as I said before, if um, at the beginning, if there's nothing around, um, then and you're able to form a complete hexagon that a fortress will spawn in the middle if you don't have the already have the maximum amount of fortresses. So as you can see right here, like um, this slot over here, there's actually this this piece of land can actually potentially spawn a fortress if you manage if my guild actually manages to take these three pieces of land as well, then it will actually spawn another fortress for us if we don't already have the max maximum number um, of fortresses. So. That's that's just really really simple. That's basically how to spawn the fortresses. Um, and there's to to do the guild battles. It is at a set time at every single day. I think it's uh, six, or I think it's six to nine, or or seven to nine, or or eight to nine, eight to ten. I can't remember. Um, but sometime during nighttime in Asia time. Um, <coughs> During the two hours, I think it's two or three hours, I can't remember, of actual fortress battle time, you you are able to declare a war on another on another guild um, using using your fortress uh, versus their fortress. So basically, it's like it's like gambling. It's like um, putting in putting in chips and then gambling, um, and then it's like a kind of like a winner winners take takes all. So um, how how should I say this? Uh, you basically you risk your fortress to have potential to get um, I think 30% of their the resources on their fortress. So let's let's pretend for example this is nighttime, um, and I decide to declare war on this guild. Then we have a chance to get if we win um, we get 30% of the resources they have over here, and then I think 70% of the resources are are actually um, returned to them. So you definitely want to declare war on, on the guilds that have the best resources in their fortresses um, and basically just try to try to take as much resources as possible. This way you, you're able to um, you know just get some get some random resources for yourself to, to do some crafting. But if you do lose the battle then your fortress will die and the resources 30% of the resources will go to them and then 70% of the resources will be returned to your guild. Um, so, and also if you're, uh, if after fo the fortress battle ends, the losing guild, their fortress is destroyed. So what this means is this land, um, and all the land, the, the fortress that the, um, the land that the fortress is on, and all the land around it becomes neutral, and then anyone can come and take, uh, control of the land with these, these guild battle tickets that they have, you know, every single day. So, there's a lot of strategy involved. I think it's a very, very complicated board game. But it's it involves um, a lot of coordination and teamwork. So you basically you want to have people that um, you know you you want to tell your teammates like you know I want you to take control of that piece of land or this piece of land. I want you to, we're gonna declare war on this this guy, and then after their fortress falls, their their land becomes neutral, and we're gonna take control of it and spawn a new fortress or something like that. Um, and so you you want to coordinate with your teammates to to basically. Um, make the best use of your tickets. You don't want, want to just spam them every single day to farm. It's really, really not effective. I don't, I don't think, all right, all right, we did end up in rank one at the very end of the season, the, the, the session, but I do not think that we are the strongest guild. We are definitely not the strongest guild. I, there are a lot of people in map one that have much stronger units than us, but um, we are able to win because we have a lot of coordination. We have a lot of planning, a lot of strategy. Um, that like that is involved in in basically just uh, you know playing the board game. That's basically it. I think the most important thing is to know how to play the board game, um, and hopefully I, this will help you um, you know plan some things out. We don't have very intricate strategies. It's basically like you know stuff like take their fortress, take their land, 
and um, everybody does it at the same time. It's not something like really, really complicated, but definitely in the future, if you guys figure something out, um, then you can either share or keep it to yourself, um, to keep it to your own guild if you're like super, super competitive and serious, but it, it will also really be nice um, for people to share that as well. But I'm just here to, you know, me, I think I'm, before before I am the guild leader of our my guild, I think I'm I'm just the YouTuber that likes to make content, um, especially educational content. So I basically share whatever I learn with you guys, even if um, you guys might use it against me in the future in, in future guild battles. But I think that'll be really really fun as well. It'll be a lot more competitive. So um, I think it's it's really really straightforward. You basically you take take land, and if you form a hexagon, you get a fortress. And you can use that fortress during the fortress battle time to declare war on another person, on another guild that has a fortress. If you win, you'd get 30% of their resources and their fortress is destroyed. The, when the a fortress is destroyed, their land becomes neutral, and you can go and take control of it using these tickets. And if you manage to form another perfect he hexagon, then you will spawn another fortress for yourself. So um, the advantage of having more fortresses, obviously, is you can declare more wars at the same time. So if you're if you have a lot of people in your guild, a lot of coordination, people are serious, people are online, people are on time, then you can definitely take advantage of having a lot of fortresses and just declaring war on random people and um, and just basically pillaging their shit. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That is the really really just the basics that the mechanics of um, guild battles hopefully this helped you guys out and hopefully this um, explained a few things and if you guys are are interested then definitely um, pop in my discord chat there's a lot of discussion there a lot of talk about strategy you can come and ask any question and it's much much faster than um, like I'll basically reply a lot faster unless I'm sleeping than on YouTube and other people in the guild who are maybe like a lot more um, strategic than me a lot uh, I, I would say a lot smarter than me, like in, in just uh, you know strategy and game knowledge. Um, they can also help you as well because there's a lot of those people on my Discord chat. If you want it, if you want the link, it's also um, down below. If you um, if you're interested. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.